Okay, so we're going to make a private section within the OneNote class notebook for teacher use. The notebook I'm working in is for one of our advisory groups and the teacher has asked for a private section. Normally this would go in our in our OneNote class binder here at Appleby College, but we're playing around with the OneNote class notebook and uh, the teacher volunteered to be our, our guinea pig. So here we go. So we're in the uh, OneNote class notebook. We're going to dive into the advisor group notebook. You'll notice that it's all compressed into one file. We've seen this behavior before. We want to be able to explode it. What we did last time in the other example I did uh, in the other blog post, we can't do this time because the content library has the standard permissions. So we have to modify the address up here. And the way we do it is we delete everything up to and including this folder CTID. And we're going to get rid of all of that and the ampersand and replace it with a slash, a forward slash, and the name of the notebook which in this case is advisor group. Uh, we can't put a space in the address, so we put a percentage 20 to represent the space, and then put the group in. And when we do that, we see how the notebook explodes. What we want to do is all of these folders are section groups within our notebook. These files are sections, except of course for open notebook, which opens the notebook. So what we need to do is create a new folder inside of Content Library. So we're going to go in there and do that. And notice he has two sections already. We're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it Advisor. And hit Create. Okay, so that's going to give us a section group within the Content Library called Advisor. Go back over here. We're going to refresh our notebook go into the content library and there's our section group called advisor what do you want to, what you want to make sure you do right now it's a piece that often gets forgotten is you want to make sure you add a section here right away don't let the section group be empty while we're working on this we're going to insert a new section, and we always add a private section so that when we're inside of this section, we can clearly see that we're in the private area. Um, it's very easy to get working in a OneNote notebook and forget where you're at, and you always want to make sure that what you're working on is private. Okay, so we've got at least this private tab within our uh, advisor section. So let's go back to SharePoint, Office 365, and within advisor, we should now see private. Okay, that's great. The challenge here is, I'm going to hit back, is that this section group right now is open to everyone and their cousin. We want to get rid of that. So let's go into the share, share with, and advanced. Now what we want to do is get rid of all of these students. So right now this folder is inheriting the permissions of its uh, content library, which all the students and the parents have access to. So we're going to stop inheriting those permissions. And instead, we're going to get rid of all of the students and the parents and remove their permissions. That's now the only people that have access to it are me and the advisor. Okay, so let's go back. Now, the advisor area should only be accessible with Graham Lewis, the, the teacher, and myself. Okay, nothing's changed over here. Um, anything we put in this private section, I can add another section. I can add another section. But the students aren't going to see this content. And that's, that's convenient. Now I can put in, I can put in anecdotal comments, I can put in uh, things perhaps that uh, the student doesn't need to see, and, uh, and go from there. Okay, so that's how you add a private section to the OneNote class notebook. Uh, always test this on your own, and uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks very much.